You know, if you're a follower of everything we do at Linder Media Productions, you know that my brother Ron had went home to be with the Lord November 30th in 2020. And uh, his legacy is unbelievable. Ron is 10 years or was 10 years my senior. He was my best friend, my business partner, my big brother. He watched over me all my life. We had a phenomenal relationship. Such a blessing, such a blessing to be friends, family, our, our life, life together. I, I'm thankful, thankful, thankful for it. As the year went on, we had received so many emails and messages and things that have touched people's lives that my brother Ron did that I never even knew about. They were on and on and on, and I accumulated them. I gave, gave them to my sister-in-law, Dolores. Uh, uh, in his latter years, he was so moved to help people, just help them in so many different ways, and he had a real heart for drug and alcohol. And, uh, uh, but other things in ministry, he was so smart. He knew something about every single religion in the world. He studied them all the time. Oftentimes he would have three books at one time. You go on a road trip with him, he's reading three different books. Anybody on any discussion on any kind of religion and the foundation of it, the tenet of it, he knew it. He knew it all. Just this was a week ago. I'm going to read you this. I was so blessed by it. They still keep coming. When I looked at the envelope, it was addressed to me and it came from Beirut, Lebanon. Naturally, I had to open it. <laughs> Who do I know in Beirut, Lebanon? It goes on to say, Al Linder, Middle Eastern greetings from Lebanon. First of all, please accept my belated condolences about your brother Ron's passing away. May the Lord continue to comfort you and the entire family while rejoicing that he is now in the presence of our Lord and Savior Jesus in heaven. I was amazed at Ron's knowledge of all things, but even that of Lebanon and its people. We had discussions together when he was attending Heritage Church and I was home itinerating. He was an inspiration and a blessing to others at many different levels. Your media coverage have helped me retain my sanity in a turbulent area of the world. I grew up in rural Minnesota on a river and a lake, but God's call has taken me to many places around the globe over 37 years in a, as a missionary. There are times I need to be renewed and watching your programs grant me a reprieve from the daily realities here. But, but I mean, I was so blessed when I read this and just, a, you know, I could just see my brother sitting there getting the Bibles out from all, all different Bibles and beliefs, beliefs, spreading them all out on the table. Well, look at this is what they believe. This is what this is what the, the Bible of Jesus Christ, the Bible. This is what this says. Compare these. Does, does this make sense to you or doesn't it? I mean, that's the way he operated. And uh, I just needed to share that with you. Uh, my dearest friend, my brother, my compadre, my business partner. You are missed, my brother. You are missed, but you are also blessed and you led, left a legacy that touched many people's lives all over the world. Hey, from all of us here at The Edge, you have a good, safe fishing season. See you on the water.